Earlier this week, environmental management students from Te Wainanga o Aotearoa participated in the Gisborne District Council project where they planted rows of low-cost, low-maintenance native grasses known as puree in the plant medium. Ecological treatment solutions are appealing because of their low capital and running costs, says Te Wainanga o Aotearoa environmental management teacher Ian Ru. As you can see, as the plants grow and they thrive, there's the root system and it's a perfect habitat for uh, microbial activity to help filter the wastewater. The miniature floating wetland is made up of a thick fibrous mat that floats on a bed of treated wastewater. The wetland is being trialled as an option for Gisborne's wastewater treatment. Pure plants are natural filters and will further improve the quality of Gisborne's wastewater and surrounding environment, says Mr Ruru. The plants will grow and thrive, their root system will get longer and a huge mass of root systems under there that will help filter the wastewater. On the ends of the, uh, the root system there's also uh, microbial uh, activity that also help break down the wastewater. The grasses will send down metre long roots over an eight month period. Wastewater that has already been through the treatment plant's biological trickling filter system enters the floating wetland and circulates around the roots. Remnant particles of suspended solids are eaten by minute aquatic life, such as worms, leeches and snails. The floating wetland creates its own ecosystem, says Gisborne District Council Projects Manager David Wilson. This is one of a number of projects investigating alternative options for use and disposal of Gisborne's wastewater. The miniature floating wetland test will be run for 12 months.